This is really, really sad. A terror attack in and of itself is a very sad thing. A woman lost her life yesterday. A woman was murdered yesterday in a suspected terror attack. Okay? But what's really sad, not just that this woman lost her life, not just that there are now a widower and four orphans left to live without their mother, but it is not being reported as a terror attack. It is being reported as a car accident. Even though IDF soldiers at the scene of this car accident suspect that there were stone throwings at the car, this woman, Hadas uh, Tapuchi, was driving her car home. She was near her home. She was near her community of Ateret in the Shomron, in the Sumerian Hills. And because stones were thrown at her car, she swerved her car, and her car collided head-on with a truck, and her life was gone in an instant on the collision. When the medical teams ap uh, uh, appeared on the scene, they, they declared her dead on the scene. Now, again, no one is talking about this terror attack. Because it has been reported as a car accident. This woman didn't just swerve because she lost control. She didn't just swerve for no reason. She swerved because Arabs were throwing stones at her car. And because of those stones that were thrown at her car by these Arabs on the side of the road, she lost her life. She was murdered in a terror attack. But yet it is not being reported as a terror attack. This is ludicrous. Now, let me just explain to you two different instances to further internalize the craziness that we are dealing with in our own homeland. Two terror attacks, a few weeks apart. One, an Arab woman lost her life because of a stone-throwing attack. And another, a Jewish woman lost her life because of a stone-throwing attack. In the attack, the stone-throwing attack where the Arab woman lost her life, immediately the news cycle called it a terror attack by Jewish youth. No proof whatsoever, but immediately the news blamed it on Jewish youth. It's been in the headlines. Um, they've arrested some Jewish youth, some teenagers. They've been interrogated by the, by the Secret Service. Headline news. No proof yet. No indictments yet. But headline news. The Jewish youth killed an Arab woman by throwing stones at her car. Okay? No proof yet. On the other hand, we have an instance where a Jewish woman was killed because of a suspected terror, uh, stone throwing terror attack, and yet it's being reported as a car accident. No investigation even. The neighbors of this woman are calling for an investigation to find out who murdered this woman, who was responsible for throwing the stones. No secret service, no police investigation, nothing. They are calling for an investigation. Now, the Secret Service and the Israeli authorities, their explanation for why they are so tough on the suspected stone-throwing attacks by Jewish youth is because of what the blowback would be from the Arabs if Jews would throw stones at Arab cars. Now, don't get me wrong. If a Jewish youth or Jewish youth are indicted for throwing stones at these cars and found guilty... They should be thrown into jail and punished to the full extent of the law. That is horrible. No one does that. Doesn't make a do make a difference if it's a Jew or an Arab. No one throws stones at cars because they are meant to kill. So it, yes, if a Jew is is indicted for throwing those stones, he should be prosecuted and he, and, and and given thrown the, the the full law and put in jail for as long as possible for that murder. But. Don't you see the difference? What Arabs throw stones at cars every day. Every day. They don't get headlines. They're not reported. They're not given in the news. We are dealing with this in Judea and Samaria every day. And even when something happens and a Jewish woman does lose her life because of a suspected stone-throwing attack, there isn't any 
any follow-up, any investigation going after the Arab youth who did that. And now we come to the crux of the issue. The Israeli authorities are afraid of blowback from the Arabs if a Jewish youth potentially threw stones at an Arab car, causing the death of an Arab woman. But yet, we shouldn't be afraid of the Arabs. We should be enforcing the law regardless if it's a Jew or Arab. But I'll tell you what, this religious war we are up against with our Muslim Arab neighbors who are trying to kill us and murder us and throw us out of our home and throw us into the sea, they should be afraid of us. They should be afraid of throwing stones to kill us because of the consequences that they would receive. Yet they are not afraid and they throw stones at us every day because they know even if they do kill us, even if they are found, even if they are put in jail, they will get money from the Palestinian Authority. They will have schools and squares named after them. Their families would be taken care of with financial incentives. Money that the Palestinian Authority gets from the world, from America, from the United, the European Union. They would sit in Israeli jails and be able to learn towards uh, master's degree, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, doctorates, be able to have family conjugal visits in jail, be able to be released from jail because, the, because they would then kidnap Israeli soldiers and then force Israel to release terrorists in jail. They are not afraid of killing us. They are not afraid of throwing stones at us. They are not afraid of using terror against us. That is where the problem lies. Our authorities are afraid of any Jews who potentially use use uh, stones as 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 weapons to hurt the Arabs. But we should be enforcing the law regardless of a Jew or Arab, and everyone should be afraid of the consequences. And the fact that the Israeli authorities do not pull down the full length of the law and the army to make our Arab Muslim neighbors afraid of using terror against us, it continues and continues and continues. I wish Hadassah's death from the suspected stone-throwing attack would be the last loss of Jewish life to this Muslim Arab terror against us, but I'm not naive, and it probably won't be the last. But I pray and I want all of you to pray, and I want all of you to work hard to bring upon the day as quickly as possible where we have the leadership. And this is a leadership that Ari also spoke about, that we have that leadership that gives equal application of the law so that everyone is afraid of using terror and throwing stones or stabbings or cow rhyming attacks so that our Muslim Arab neighbors are shaking in their boots not to use terror against us. That's the update today. Please God, we're going to come to this day. I wish sooner than later. But spread the word. This woman, Hadas Tapuhi, lost her life in a suspected stoning attack, a terror attack, even though the media and the authorities are still not reporting it as such. Shalom from the ancestral Jewish homeland. We are here to stay no matter what terror they use against us. We're going to go strong.